Here we have a game for fame game. Uh, this doesn't look like a game we'd play at all, uh, so I think I'm going to leave this one here for someone who will like it. Here is the worst case scenario game. Now I found this game last week and I did a little research on it and I decided to get it because it goes for a little bit of money and it's a sealed copy too, so yeehaw! Here is Scrabble Express. We have a couple of the Express versions of different games. This one's missing a die and it doesn't really go for much on eBay either, so I'm going to leave this here. Here's a game called Nuts. Uh, this is some game about therapy sessions. Yeah, this sounds about as much fun as picking acorns out of my ear, so I think I'm going to leave this one here too. Here is Scrabble Flash. Uh, this game is complete and it works really good. I think I'm going to go ahead and get and try it out. Here's a game called Letter Flip. This is made from the same people that made the Upwards game. It's missing one of the little yellow tabs, but I can make one of those, so I'm going to go ahead and pick this one up as well. Here is some game called People and Places in the Book. Uh, this is a Bible trivia game of sorts. Uh, again, we don't really play trivia games much, so I'm going to leave this here. Here is Battle Ball. Really cool game, and I have a copy of this. Uh, this one's missing some parts, unfortunately, so sadly I'm going to have to leave this one here. Here is a backgammon set. Uh, this one's in really nice shape, and it's complete. Uh, unfortunately, backgammon sets don't really sell for much on eBay, so I'm going to leave this. Here is Deluxe Aggravation. This is an old vintage game. Uh, the board is pretty warped on this game, and uh, it's kind of beaten up, so I think I'm going to leave this one here as well. Here's a game called Bill and Gloria Gaither's Homecoming Audition. Will you be there? No, I won't. I'm leaving yet. Sorry. Here we have Chinese Chess from the Gabriel Company. This isn't the same uh, as the traditional version, uh, but it looks really interesting. I think I'm going to go ahead and pick this up again. Here we have Circus. Um, I have a copy of this game. Um, this game doesn't really sell for much on eBay either, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this here too. Here is Clue, the DVD version of the game. Uh, for the price they're asking, it's a little bit too much, and again, it doesn't really sell for that much, so I'm going to leave this here. Here is the boring game of the week, TV Guide the Game. Ugh, I hate magazine trivia games. Here we have a Deluxe Anniversary at Monopoly Edition. Uh, the box is really beaten up and they've written a price on the box, so that devalues it, so I'm going to leave this here too. Here we have Transformers Chess Set. Pretty cool. Uh, normally I again would have gotten this, but it's missing a piece, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this here too. Here we have Piranha Panic. Uh, this is a kid's game of sorts. Uh, it's missing some parts, so I'm going to have to leave this here too. Hey, 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 it's Fat Albert! Yeah, and unfortunately the game costs way too much, so I'm going to leave you Fat Albert. Sorry. Here we have Triple Yahtzee. A really cheap price. Don't think it has everything, but I've got components. I think I'm going to go ahead and pick it up for the parts. Here is Worst Case Scenario Junior. Uh, I don't think this game is going to go for much, so I'm going to leave this. Here we have Uno Wild Tiles. Great price for this game. The box is a little beat up and it's missing a few parts, but I've got spare parts for it, so I'm going to pick it up. Here we have Deluxe Parcheesy. This version of the game doesn't really sell for that much on eBay. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this here for now. I might pick it up later, though. Here is Wikipedia the game. Well, I can tell you this much. It's cost way too much and doesn't look interesting to me, so I'm going to leave this here, too. Here is Blockade. Uh, now, my friend Dude McCann has this game, and I was thinking of reviewing it for him, but I'm going to go ahead and definitely pick this one up. Looking forward to trying this one out. Here is Four Letter Frenzy. This is a word game that plays like spoons. Um, it's a party game. Okay, I'll go ahead and pick it up. Why not? Here is Chinese Checkers. Um, this is a cool version. We have this game, though, and it doesn't sell for much, so I'm going to leave this here. So we'll start with the Chinese chess set from Gabriel. Uh, it's in really nice shape. All the pieces and parts are here. Uh, looking forward to doing a review of this one very soon. Here is the Scrabble Flash game. Um, it just comes in this uh, neat little um, box here. And uh, the components are these red electronic things that work together. Uh, we've played it and it's pretty cool. I might do a review on this one soon as well. Here we have the blockade game. Uh, once again, it's in pretty good shape and all the parts are here. Uh, we've played this game already and it's actually pretty cool. I've never quite seen a game like this. Uh, looking forward to doing a review on this one as well. 
Here is the letter flip game. Uh, this game plays like Hangman on steroids, if I could uh, put it that way. Uh, again, it's just missing one of those little yellow tabs, but I can make one of those. Everything else is here, and it's in really good shape as well. Here's the triple Yahtzee game I got for the components, but I might be able to complete it and maybe sell it later. Uh, uh, it's got the cup, and it's got the tray. It's got all of the dice, and I think it's got uh, missing a few of the chips, and I think that's it, plus the instructions. Here's the Uno Wild Tiles game. Uh, I went ahead and I fixed the split corners on the box, and I went ahead and replaced the tiles. Uh, everything's in good shape. Uh, the tiles are a little bit faded, but that's okay. Um, and everything else is here, so cool, cool, and cool. And finally, here's the four-letter Frenzy game. Um, I haven't played this game yet. I'm looking forward to trying out. It has these bean bags. I'm not quite sure what they're for, and it has all these cards as well. Um, again, everything's in here, so looking forward to giving this a game a try with the party group for sure. So our Thrifting for Board Games has concluded for this week, but tune in next week for some more hunting for big-time board games. We'll see you guys later, and please subscribe.